celebrities. We all know them. Their names, their faces, and their songs. But who are they really? How do they become famous? And why? Is this so interesting? Emma Cairo. Emma Cairo grew up in Denmark, a tiny kingdom in northern Europe. She was the daughter of a famous jazz musician. Is this a key to her success? And why? Having allied myself with Dr. Wiener Schnitzel, famous psychiatrist, I'll be following Emma around to try and answer the question that we're all dying to know. Why? So, do I actually get to meet her? Emma Cairo? I get to meet her, right? We're almost in Vegas, not quite yet. Uh, I think we'll be there in about one hour. Um, I don't really know if we're gonna be on time. I actually have sound check at nine, nine o'clock and it's, it's eight o'clock almost. Um, so it's gonna be a little tricky. Uh, I had to put my makeup on in the car because I don't think I'll have time to do it in my hotel room. Um, so I just did it in the car and then I went to the bathroom here and I put on my eyeliner. Um, so yeah, we'll see, we'll see. I mean, it's, it's all up in the air, anything can happen. So we're going to Las Vegas. Oh my God, look at that asshole. Did you see that? Oh my God, what an asshole. It's just my job to get, to get her, to get the singer Emma Cairo from A to B. And Oh my god, look at that asshole. What an asshole! I am what I am. I am what I am. I'm what you be. I'm, I'm undertaking a pretty damn serious job as a, as a chauffeur, basically. You know, a lot of people think it's just about like going from A to B, but sometimes you need to get from A to C and and, and make a stop at B on, on the way. And we didn't have, have time to do that yesterday. Uh, uh, today. So. Uh, So I can actually, but the problem is on stage there's not enough light, so you actually have to write them down with like a sharpie, and you have to write really big so you can actually read it, you know. And um, it's, it's a process. Everything's a process here, and um, you'll see everything's up in the air right now. Uh, people that are not famous are just kind of annoying. Like, I have to deal with them coming up. You know, most of the time, it's almost like they want to come up and lick my face. Like, I'm just trying, I'm on my break. I'm just trying to go do my thing, powder my nose, whatever. And they just come up to me and they all like, like little dogs, you know what I mean? And they want to lick my face. R-Y-A-N. Space. E-V-A-N-G-E-L-A-S-T-A. -E In capital letters, all caps. Ryan Evangelista. I am Ryan Evangelista. I love Ryan. Um... Brian is such a great guy. He's he's an amazing singer. And an amazing amazing um entertainer. Like he really he really gets to people. I feel good. <laughs> I feel so good. <laughs> and he sings to their hearts. Uh, but also, I mean, it can be hard to deal with. I mean, he is, 
very full of himself. Can I go 101? I don't think he's completely aware of the fact that I am the star in this show. I am Emma Cairo, the biggest star um, that has ever come into the United States from Europe. And I don't think he's aware of that. He, he acts like he's the big star. And that's an issue. Like, I'm very diplomatic. I have to put my shoes on. It's like a nightmare, like all the time. Like, look at my feet. Like, they just swell up and I just can't, I mean, Emma, get your fucking shoes on, we're on. What the hell? He's just really, he's just so full of himself. Like, always just so full of himself. I always try to, like, smooth things out. That's right, I'm talking about you. Yeah. But I can see maybe in the long run, it's gonna be an issue. Beauty is just easy for me. I just like wake up and I'm ready to go. I throw on a shirt and I, I mean I do a couple push-ups, but that's about it. But I don't really need to do push-ups. Get my guitar and I just jump on stage. I don't surround myself around every people. I just go up there and rock out. I get any girl that I want. Why not? Plastic surgery is for dummies. I think I'm just like pretty much perfect. I don't think I need any plastic surgery. How would I do that? Assuming this young man actually has this disorder, we may ask the rhetorical question, does it affect his life in a negative way? Sure it does. Um, would he, would he have been better off without this diagnosis? Sure, he would have. But is it gonna kill him? Probably not. Asked for my food, like homeless people. I hate homeless people, but they don't have anybody, which is <laughs> so gross. So gross. Um, Amanda's such a sweetheart. Oh my god, she has the most adorable face. Like her eyes are just like, like big, you know, eyes like a doll. She's just gorgeous. I love her to death. Um. I'm so happy to have her in my band. Um, one thing I must say, she is a little bit um, stingy. Money, 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 money. Um, but I don't know. I, I'm gonna talk to um, the label and uh, maybe see see if I, I can get her a race. Maybe that'll help her out. Probably buy shoes. Shoes first. And then I'd probably buy a suit for my dog. He's a badass. He's a suit. One hundred and seventy. I don't know, kinda of boring. Right out of the womb I was always pretty much like already popular. Oh my god, I can't, I really can't remember how I was before I became famous. <laughs> that was so long ago. You know what? I sleep in as long as I want. It's very important for me to rest my voice. I wake up whenever I want, rest my voice, that's very important. Um, I get up, I eat really healthy. I have to eat healthy, obviously. I mean, that's why I eat broccoli. I have to eat healthy so that I can look good and live up to, um, you know, the image, the idea that people have of me. I am 
the star. I am Emma Cairo. Um, I'm kind of eating right now. Are you retarded or what? Are you retarded? Ryan wants all the money. Amanda's the biggest bitch here. I have to talk to the guys about something. I mean, this is just horrendous. You guys just keep singing really, really loudly, and I can't hear myself. If I want to hang my boobs out, I'll hang my boobs out. Are you listening to me? It's just not really okay, okay? I want to hang my boobs out. <laughs> therapy so like Nicole and I just can't hear myself loud enough like I'm like the lead right now and I should just be like the loudest right but like these guys and like Ryan and all the drums and shit and I just can't hear myself and everybody else wants to hear me obviously the bitch please the bitch please and you're just too loud I'm just too loud, huh? Yeah, it. you're too well, loud. I'm over it. Oh. And I'm just... Well, you know what? You're fired. Gonna How about that? that? The Bitch, you can't fire us! I'm a hustler! What the fuck? I just hate it. Hate it, hate it, hate it. Who? Um, I prefer not to talk about that right here. Is it dangerous? Sometimes, maybe. Um, is it inconvenient? Sure, it's inconvenient. Is it gonna kill her? Probably not. I am what I am. I am what I am. You guys know what we're doing. What's going on right now is. I'm winning, I'm winning like 19 free bonus games, but it's gonna be double. So it's like 30 cents, you know, and it's, oh my god, no, make that 50. With double pay and even more bonus games, it's just free money, basically. They're just, everybody, let the world know, they're giving away free money in Vegas. to the hotel room and I just finished the last set. You know, that's fine. I, I love singing, so it's fine, but it's hard for me to keep up the energy and, and 
and really deliver, you know. Like this guy kept jumping up on stage. I mean, like literally, he was doing it like a hundred times in that last set. And I was just like, dude, dude, you got to get off my stage. You got to get off my stage. I'm trying to perform here. I'm trying to do my best to keep people happy. And you're just stealing the spotlight, you know, and, and, and that's just not okay. Uh, and I don't know where security was. I mean, aren't they supposed to stop things like that? No, they just kept, he kept jumping up. Like literally he was up on stage like 20 times in that set. It was just ridiculous, ridiculous. Honestly, it's all the stupid people everywhere that I have to deal with. Um, like, I, I love my fans. Like, honestly, my fans are amazing. They're like little, little cute puppy dogs to me. Like, I just love them, you know, and I, I want to cuddle with them, and I want to tell them that it's all going to be better, that everything will be okay. And they can believe in their dreams and I'm here for them you know but sometimes it's like everyone is just stupid I'm not talking about my fans of course not my fans are awesome but just people in general people walking up to me and they just want something from me and it's just too much like I don't I don't have anything to give them like everything I give them, I give them on stage. Like I give them my all, you know what I mean? Like my all. And I just don't have, I don't have anything to give them on the street. I, I want to be left alone. And it's just, it's fucking annoying to be, you know, I'm out there eating my broccoli on the street. Um, random people coming up to me and they're like, ah, oh, can I take a photo? Let me get you an autograph. And they're not my fans. They're just random people that know that I'm famous and they want to get a piece of the cake. And I'm not having it. I'm just not having it. <sighs> so, <sighs> we just got off. You know, this was, this is always a tough gig. In the desert, the air is dry, it dries out my voice, it fucks up everything. On a Sunday, it's that everyone is coming from Vegas. Everyone! And we need to avoid the traffic. We need to avoid the traffic at all cost. And that means leaving at 7. And I just hate waking up early. I just hate it. Hate it, hate it, hate it. And there's just no stopping it. We have to get up at 7. Honestly, to be perfectly honest, I'm not fit for this job. Every single person that we encounter on the roads is a potential enemy. No, not a potential enemy. It's an enemy. And, it, you know, it's... It's a shark tank out there, basically. We literally drove light speed to get here, you know. So, I'm trying to figure out what I want to eat, and the major problem right now is I want eggs, but I also want vegetables. So, I don't really know what to do. Wherever we go, this is the, the issue, you know, people like eggs and I just woke up. I, I'm to Miski and it's it's in the middle of nowhere uh, I don't know why we're going there we're certainly not making enough money to drive for six or seven hours it's completely retarded why aren't we going to Palm Springs the major problem so we're on our way
way to Mesquite and I left my mic stand at home. So now I have to go buy one. And we're really worried we're not gonna make it to this gig now. And, and it's like price stand prices, they've just been like soaring like the past five years. And it's like I'm pretty sure we're not gonna make it. You know? It's a major it. problem, that's for sure. And just look at it. It's horrible. During the production of this show, I was surprised to learn how hard life as a celebrity can be. Um, celebrities are under a lot of pressure. They wait around for service. Sometimes they have to get their own beer. They have to get up at seven. They have to put on makeup in the car. They even use Sharpies. The problems celebrities deal with can truly be hard, yet they're totally down to earth. And there's an important lesson in this. Celebrities aren't just normal people like you, so don't go lick their faces. Even though you really want to, you can join a fan club and become a dedicated fan, and you can believe in your dream.